Director, please welcome my next guest, James Francis Ginty, everybody. Woo! James! James Francis Ginty! Hey, James. James. James, very James. excited to have you here. Uh, a little less or more nervous than you were before the show? No, I feel good. It I feels feel the, good. The music calms me. Yes, wow. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, thank you. James! Thank you. you. <laughs> we do. We hope you have a great time here. So far, so good. So far, it's going well, right? Check in. We'll check in every few minutes with you. See how oh, you're that'd doing. be great. Uh, so, James <laughs> Francis, first of all, congratulations on surrogates. Thank you. I checked you out, and I, you go to the surrogates page on IMDb, and unlike any of our credits here, you actually are on the first page. And he's like the second one. I know you're yeah, right there. On IMDb. So, uh, <laughs> yes. First of all, so you shared some screen time with Bruce Willis. How is that? Fabulous. Yeah. Oh, it's fabulous. Bruce is, uh, yeah, Bruce was a big icon of mine when I was a kid. He seems like a cool guy. And he really is. Yep. I mean, I think in real life he is the rebellious sergeant. I mean, right. that's who he is. Right. You know, uh, uh, a lovable guy who gets along with everybody. Right. But Die Hard was my first rated R movie. Really? Yeah. So to now come all this way and actually be working with Bruce is something right. else. Yeah. Right. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Now, surrogates, I've seen the posters, and uh, immediately you see uh, a robot, half robot, half breasts, and I just think... Sex bots. That's what I thought. Everyone's thinking we want to have sex with these right. robots. Right, and then you sit here with me and you go, "This can't be. What's the real story?" So what Let's is the understand. story? No. If we're not going to be having sex with robots, what is the lesser exciting story of surrogates? It is. I mean, it, the story is a murder mystery. Okay. Um, the metaphor is maybe technology spiraling out of control. Ooh. And oh. that's, okay. Uh, right. Yeah. And yeah. Is there sex with robots? <laughs> <laughs> Um, is there, is there, there is, uh, there's foreplay with robots. Ooh. My guest, James Francis Ginty. Next week on the show, <laughs> James, you've locked me down. No, okay. So, uh, well, there is. No, I mean, I you gotta have to go to. Foreplay. There, there is, is. But you have to go see. No, I know. I is keep, that foreplay? It, keep it together. Is it kind of lingus foreplay? Yes. A little bit. What? That's advanced you're, foreplay. You're scaring. Really? You're that sca is very advanced. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Nobody thinks there's going to be a robot giving a hand job in the movie. That's not the kind of. We're talking about like I've people like making out with robots. No, there's definitely robot making out. Oh right. Yeah, but, but no robo hand job. You got to see the movie. You got to see the. You got to see the movie. Well, okay, so here's what I get. Uh, I got this off uh, the the IMDb, and and this is what they say about it. It's basically people are living remotely. They live in their homes, but their surrogates are living their lives. Exactly. And then there's like a rogue murder that happens, and then he has to investigate the murder. Now, who do you play in the movie? So yes, I play um, the young kid who gets murdered. Oh. Wait, oh. don't give it away. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler not alert. Surrogate or human? Oh, I don't know. We don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. With those we high cheekbones. We don't know. Punch him in the stomach. We don't well, know. <laughs> with those high cheekbones and that flawless skin, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I the don't skin's know. only flawless because of that water you guys I all know, had out right? in the lobby. What is that stuff? It that says good for your skin on it. I drank it and I literally three zits disappeared while I waited. Yes, that is the I'm best blood for Evo we've yeah. ever gotten. It's actually. fabulous. Yes, yeah. yeah. Most that's, people that's, go. That's, that's the drench stew. That's, that's, that's the drench. That's the electrolyte enhanced drench yeah. water. <laughs> it was the lemon one. It was very good. Most people oh, just lemon, go, yeah. uh, is this free? All right, sweet. Like, that's all we get. So, I, um, yeah. so uh, but I did see some stills and I don't know, is there. Are you playing a young boy? Are you possibly playing Seems another creepy gender? creepy the way he said young boy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, I play a young man. Okay. I play a young man who has this unfortunate experience of being killed. Right. And, uh, that's such an unfortunate experience. That is. It, 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 it <laughs> is. Of all the experiences to have, that's probably the worst. As a young man, it's yes. difficult. As a young man. It's difficult. <laughs> yes. And then following that, uh, maybe I also play another character. Oh, boy. What? Look at you. I know. Not uh, yeah, this is, I, but I do you feel the kind of you know I do. mystery Mercury rising? I'm feeling, in here? I'm yeah. feeling it. Now go see the movie. Let, let's talk a little bit about where where did you guys shoot the movie? We shot in Boston. Okay, and why, uh, why Boston? I'm curious. Oh uh, yeah, I had a lot to do with it. Uh, no, but they I, came I mean, to me. They said, James, where do you want to shoot? <laughs> I said, Bruce, listen, grab yourself some all water. Right, we're all right, all right. Let's back it up, a hole guest. Let's back it up. You win this round, James right. Francis Ginty. I'm going to actually start calling you James Ginty, or how about this, Jamie Ginty from now on. You're not going to like that, are you? On the show, Jaime Ginty. Uh, okay, fine. You're going to a-hole that one. I'm just curious, why wouldn't you do it in L.A., Ginty? I, I, you know what, Stu? What? I don't know. 
I have no idea why they didn't choose L.A. I okay. love that they chose Boston. So you didn't think city. to ask anyone. You're working on the movie for six weeks. Very aggressive. It never he's occurs to you. very aggressive. All right. yeah. He's All right, from fine. Boston, and I think that's you why he's getting what? defensive. No. I wanted it in my hometown. Boston is fabulous, and mm. I'm thrilled that it did shoot in Boston, because okay. I got to go to Fenway for the first time. Right, but you're, you're from Philly, thing. right? Great. Or are you from Jersey? I'm from L.A. Oh, you. What is this? It's just making up cities. He no. makes up stuff all the time. So you're from L.A., so you think Boston is great. I'm from L.A., so I always appreciate being able to get away from right. home. Right. Okay. Yeah. Traveling's one of the perks of the job. So nice. anytime you get to travel, it's great, and we got to go to right. Boston. And we were there. I mean, you're from Boston, so you know this. We got yeah. there right in April. Right. Apple blossoms blooming. Gorgeous, gorgeous town to be in. Right. And then all through the summer, uh, 4th of July in Boston, and uh, back in August. Never once a location manager. Why are we in Boston? <laughs> never once. It never occurred to you, Gid. Let it go. I will let it go. All right, it's time to play a game with James Francis Ginty because I have a lot to play with him. We're going to get right to it. He's in surrogates. Uh, you also, by the way, you uh, you did ballerina growing up. Uh, I did ballerina you growing did up. A, okay. You did ballet growing up. Okay. You did ballet growing up. I did. I was and a dancer. You, yeah. you, you were a dancer. Bar method. I don't want to know about his real life. I want to <laughs> talk about pretend. You, uh, you, you were a ballerina. I, I was a ballet dancer. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. I'm not even trying. Is that not the term? I don't. No, what do they call them? Ballerina. No. Boys ballerina. Why, why not? Why not? Because. You Ginty, I will stop this if you just tell me why you didn't ask a location manager. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. You did ballet, but you were very good. Uh, extremely. No, if I was God. extremely good, I'd. This still is the be worst good. interview. I loved I dancing. Mean, do you, have you ever heard an improv class? It's yes and. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, and uh, yeah. Well, I can't I sit here and lie with you. I, I, I would just ballet. I, I honestly, I want to physically assault him, but those beautiful cheekbones are preventing me from it because I will hurt my knuckles. Uh, all right, James, I'm, I'm being serious. So you did ballet growing up. You went to I like did. you went to a military school, an all boys school, and you would sneak off to do ballet. Wow, this is a true story. Yes. Who told you this is a great story? This I actually story. read. I oh, read this. I was yeah. Who told I was. You yes. I was. Uh, was yeah. Well, no one was supposed <laughs> to know. Yes. No. Well, I went to Valley Forge Military Academy right. in Wayne, Pennsylvania, for for middle school. I had I had some. Uh, Adolescent troubles growing up. I was into a military school, but I was also a ballet dancer. And so on the weekend, I used to sneak off to the Pennsylvania Ballet, right, and dance and come back. And none of the other fellows knew what I was doing for right. fear of, I don't know, for what. fear of repro. I mean, who? Yeah, I, well, I don't know why people think it's like not well, cool to dance. It's like the coolest thing in the world. I mean, I literally, <laughs> I drove downtown to like hang out with a bunch of great looking girls. Right. And then I came back scared that people would accuse me of, you know, being soft or something. It was right. crazy. Right. See, what you're supposed to do yeah. is sneak off. To smoke bowls at the back of a Walgreens, with a and bunch then, of dudes. And, then, and then come back and lie. That'll show them. And yeah. then and then come back and tell them that That'll you just nailed some townies. Right. That's what you're. They think you're supposed to do, but they were all probably they were, jealous. They were wrong. They were. Yeah. Absolutely. Dancing was great. Yeah. Dancing was great. So you were a popular guy. Let's uh, let's be honest. When in in uh, military school. <laughs> Uh, I did. I, I did all right in military school. I don't know if popularity was, was it. The word was, I used. was it very disciplined, like up at five and doing yeah, the whole deal? Yeah, we were oh, up at really? four thirty. Wow. We started with physical training, PT. You know, right. running around, right. push ups, running around in circles. Right. People yelling at you for no reason. Right. You were like, yeah. I need to get out. Yeah. Of here. All right. Uh, so what we're gonna do, uh, since you have a, a background in dance, and also you uh, are in a movie that, with robots, we're gonna do a game called Ballerina or Robot. Oh. You're gonna play it, John Falron. Go ahead. John. John. <laughs> John. Thanks. Uh, can we cut to John? Yeah. Oh, guys. Hi. Ballerina or robot. Not much of a title to write a song with. Ballerina robot Let's hope the bit is funnier than this Thank you Good There it is, ballerina or robot Now your job, but we're going to do trivia You just have to tell me whether you think It's a ballerina or a robot Lauren Valdez is going to keep score Alright, here we go, first one Joanna Eberhardt Joanna. Ballerina Sorry, robot, Stepford Wives Fantastic! I love your wow, commitment. You, yeah, you <laughs> love your commitment. Like, you like that? I, did. I thought this was like that spoken word thing where I just speak as quickly as possible. <laughs> you know? No. Was that Why not did right? You I think thought that? this was because if Why I had thought, definitely that? robot. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll give him that one. Ballerinas all right. have Russian names. Keep going. Okay. All right. Here we go. John Cavill. Ballerina. Uh, robot. Battlestar right. Galactica. Right. right. All right. So, oh, for John's two. not Russian? Here Keep we go. Coming. All right. Zane Gort. Oh, robot. 
Oh, robot novelist in a short story, The Silver Eggheads by Fritz Lieber. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But you knew that. Well, I read it. You did. Fritz Lieber. It. Aral Norimaki. Aral. Ba ballerina. Uh, that is a robot. The main character of the Japanese animated series, Dr. Slump. Are there any ballerinas on Hold this on. list? Hold <laughs> on. Maybe. Maybe that's my technique. We got six to go. Okay. Akarova Ballerina. Akarova. Ballerina. All right, that is. Akarova. That's a Belgian dancer known by her stage name Akarova, but her name is Marguerite a Akavin. You're just making things up. I'm right not. Now. This, no is, idea what you're this is from Wikipedia. This is true. <laughs> the source. This is the source. All right, keep it coming. All right, here we go. Rhoda Miller. Rhoda Miller. I'm going to go with Ballerina. That's a fembot played by Julie Newmar. Shut up. Yes. Right now. Like yes. Mom. Ulrika Aberg. Ulrika Aberg. Robot. Ballerina Swedish. <laughs> this guy doesn't know anything about ballet <laughs> or robots. <laughs> Ayako Nakano. I football player. I, <laughs> this is terrible. There's only I've two more. everyone wrong. I have two choices. Jaime, bring it in. Ayako Nakano. Ballerina. Ballerina, yes, current Yay! Japanese ballerina. Uh, Reina Kapik. Ballerina. Robot. Star Trek episode. <laughs> Rec you were so certain on that one. Okay, and finally, the polyphase Avatron. <laughs> I'm going to go robot. <laughs> that is, that's actually the captain's robot parrot in the pirate planet Doctor Who 1978. Yay. So how many were there? Uh, there were ten. I got three right. Yeah, James yeah. Gizzy, that's right. Yeah. Hey, look, from Valley Forge, that's a pass. Did Absolutely. <laughs> from military school. <laughs> Wow. Uh, you know what? I wow. kid with the people I love the most. I understand. James Ginty. All right. Um, so, but let's talk. Uh, we have we have a few more games to play with you. But uh, but let's talk about uh, K-19 Widowmaker, because that was a film you were in a couple oh years God. ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I read. Did you see? I'm you literally, didn't see K-19. I did see. No, you didn't. Don't even lie to my wait. face right now. <laughs> Nobody on. saw K-19 no, no, Widowmaker. No, I saw U-571. Right. Okay. Well, which was directed by Jonathan Mosto, who directed Surrogates. Really? Yeah. See, we, I knew that. We had a submarine bond so from different but in K-19, movie. you were uh, an evil Russian? No, I was a good Russian. Well, I, was, I dance in okay. K-19. Let's back there it up no a little. Evil okay. Russians. There's no the, good Russians. Okay. If I have anything to say about it. Uh, but uh, that wasn't your I'm your Russian. first, uh, But and your first part was uh, playing an altar boy. Is that right? Oh, back in, yeah. Way in, back. Way back when. But yeah. how do you get into that as a kid? I always want to know. My father that. directed the film. Oh, okay. So he's yeah. like, you know what? I, I don't want to pay for it. daycare. He did, and I was uncredited. Really? Yeah. Because you're credited now. I am credited now. I am so, credited. But in when K-19... Right. Uh, I played uh, Sailor. There was a group of us, a bunch of fantastic actors who have gone on to great careers who uh, uh, were all working together. It was like a real ensemble piece right. led by Harrison Ford, right. which was fab fabulous. And, and he, you met him, of course. And, and oh, yeah. He, well, we what did he have to say to you as a young boy? Oh, Harrison was, Harrison was terrific. Well, he was my childhood hero. Yeah. And who, who, I mean, he wouldn't. Who's, it wasn't, yeah. thought, right? Wait a minute. I yeah. thought Bruce Willis was your childhood I hero. Yeah. Can we roll that tape back? Can we no. roll the tape? Can we roll the tape? Can we yeah, roll it back? True. He, Can we just were, roll it back? I found hero. Why, okay. why would I have to pick between Don't those worry. You know what? I'm on your side now. <laughs> I'm on your this? side. Because so, they're about to walk in the door. Yeah. <laughs> you met him and... I did meet him. Well, I had, I booked that job. I was I was in in, in, in college at, at Juilliard okay. right, right when I got this job. Right. And I, I was very involved in being a pretentious stage actor. Nice. And, you know, really working on my dialogue and diction right. and Shakespeare and things of this nature. Still haven't dropped the pretension. Which no, is not, at like. all, not, not at all. Like. Not at all. It's all in the tie. Mm -hmm. um, um, but I, I, I have settled down a little bit. My first day of shooting, mm -hmm. we put, uh, you know, it was my, my, my very first day was a scene with Harrison. And I'm kind of have to, like, carry this box down this, like, long hallway and right. see him. And, and um, I tell him, you know, I, I work on the reactor, Comrade Captain, or something. That's, That's good. Oh, I was in. I was scared. I, I was scared. back in the movie. I was back right? in the movie. Is it frightening? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's probably why they cut it. But anyway, <laughs> I um, but I pick up the box right. and and you know with all of my Juilliard theatrical enthusiasm go running down this hallway and I get to Harrison and and literally at the top of my lungs you know I work on the reactor, Comrade Captain. God, and he I'm scared. No, Those he Russians. calls cut in front of everybody. Oh uh, no. Harrison, and I, I, I knew he was important, I, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't the director, so I got really concerned, right? right? right. Because Harrison Ford just called cut after something I did. This wasn't right. going to be good. No. And, and he looked at me, and I, I, I thought I was going to get fired. Right. On the spot, first day of work, I was going to get fired. He goes, listen, kid, that tape, that's called a mark. you got to hit that. That, that's called a microphone, so don't talk so freaking loud. Now go back to the beginning <laughs> and do it again. 
And I like I turned around petrified. Right. And I start walking back, and, and this was in front of everybody. Oh, oh man. My and I'm like, God. I'm fired. This was my movie career. This was extraordinary. I met Harrison. I'm walking back, and he goes, Hey, kid. Besides that, you're doing fucking great work. Yeah. <laughs> And that was, God, that was that's the great. greatest story. And that's where I it mean, started. Yeah. I don't even want to let you talk beyond this. That is the moment that I want to yeah. remember you about.